how you stop prayers from becoming a habit. I think the first the first thing that you have to do, you have to start to find joy in the prayer. And how do you do this? Number one, you have to make a conscious effort to stop sinning. Because if the heart is ailing, it will not enjoy the prayer. In the same way, if you're sick, you're not going to enjoy food because you're sick. It's not that there's anything wrong with the food. The problem is with you. So this is number one, making a conscious effort, waking up every day and going through those three stages because taqwa is achieved through three things. Musharata, you stipulate, you make a firm resolution, you make a conscious resolution every day that I'm not going to commit this specific sin that I've that, that it's become a habit for me. And then muraqaba, you monitor yourself. You pay attention to your actions. You know, in the same way, when you're on a diet, you make a resolution that tomorrow I'm going to be on a specific diet. Throughout the day, you monitor your calorie intake. The same thing, the same principle applies to spirituality. You, you make certain stipulations. You monitor yourself. You monitor what you say, what you do. And then at the end of the day, you take yourself to account, muhasab. So refraining from sin is number one. Number two is be familiar with what you're saying during the prayer. If you don't know what Subhana Rabbi al Adimi wa bihamdi means, you need to find out. If you don't know the translation of Surah Al Fatiha, you should be familiar with the meaning of every word because the prayer will naturally become mundane and mechanical if you're utter uttering words and expressions that you don't understand. So that's number two. Number three, make an effort to pray in a place that's quiet. Remove external distractions. And number four, just off of the top of my head, finally, be very delicate with your soul. What do I mean by this? Do not pressure yourself to go to do beyond the wajibat when you're not in the mood. Now you may you may think that this is shocking. Aren't we supposed to always push ourselves? Amir al-Mu'minin alayhi salam he has a hadith where he says, "Inna lil qalbi iqbalan wa idbara." The heart, the word qalb, literally comes from the word which means to change. The heart is always changing. It's always fluctuating. There are days where you're going to feel more spiritual than others. There are days where you're going to have a desire to do ibadah. On those days, take advantage. Read dua, perform nawafil, do salatul ghufayla, do the extras. But on the days that you feel like you're at a spiritual low, commit yourself only to the wajibat. And don't do anything beyond it. Because if you go beyond the wajibat on the days that you're not in the mood, what's going to happen? You're going to develop an aversion towards worship. And an example that I like to give is, you know, when you go to the gym, if you're tired and you haven't eaten well, if you, if you bench press or you lift too much or you overexert yourself, what's going to happen? You're going to harm yourself. You're going to pull a muscle. You have to take it easy on the days that your body is fatigued. On the days where you feel energetic and you feel pumped up, yeah, do a few extra workouts because your body is primed for it. If you do that, if you're delicate with your soul, your fluctuations will start to happen at a higher level. So on the days that you feel, you know, you feel you don't feel too spiritual, do the bare minimum. And you will reach a point where the bare minimum will include some of the mustahabbat. And then on the days that you feel spiritually elevated and you're inspired and you're motivated, you're going to be performing even more mustahabbat. So I think that the way that you find joy in worship is also to be conscious and be aware of the state of your soul. There are many people, they start to hate dua. Because every Thursday, rain or shine, they read du'a kumid from beginning to end. That might not be a good idea. 
Because if you force yourself to do recommended acts, the soul will start to hate worship. So you have to be very delicate with the soul. This is just, you know, my humble advice. And this is from my own experience that I found to be helpful.